Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 110 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. I made some buildings last time and I forgot to place at least one important one. So let's find a place. Oops. Not that. Here it is. I made this uh, fortune tellers. Fortune tellers. I guess it says mansion, but it looks like a tent to me. Or maybe I'm not as good at this as I thought. In any case, this should increase my item drops from enemies by one. For like my whole party. I wasn't expecting anything to do that. Anyway, moving on. We get to fin visit Faro de Aros. So, complying with the missive we received from the head priest of the Fuchsia faith, we're heading to this Holy Accord in order to participate. And we're heading into Faro de Oro, into the inner part of Faro de Oro, de Aros, where our town is. So as soon as we were able to see it off in the distance, we came to a stop and confirmed the situation. So pretty soon we'll be basically on top of Fuchsia Temple. We w I've always wondering where we should park this thing. If we get too close to the town, they'll be uneasy about it. So we should ask if so we should head to the town ourselves and ask if there's a place we can park nearby. Alright, so it seems someone's here to see Avaro with that talk in mind, actually. So apparently waiting for us to stop the castle. Rosaline brought in this elf guy. Well, there are many elves, so it says there are many elf soldiers. So they give this particular place hand on chest kind of sort of bow thing. So these guys are going to guide us to our designated location. So the location where we're going to be staying is been decided. And please, well, he doesn't say please actually. Do as we say. Yeah, these soldiers are not really asking for our assent to the matter. But they direct us to where we want to go. Well, it's probably best we do what they tell us to do. At the very least, they don't want we don't want them to take us as enemies. Yeah, and we also don't want to scare people, so... Alright then. Please guide us to wherever. That's a sky. Alright. Okay, so is this good? Here? That's affirmative. This location... There won't be a problem. So, Fia brings the castle to a halt. In this particular place, it's out of sight from the general town. And they're surrounded by some kind of wooden buildings. Great, these are environmentalist elves. So, once we get there, it seems the people on the ground are already ready 
and a number of weapon carrying elves rush onto the castle. Yeah, what's this? Without permission, we've got a lot of elves coming on here. So let's go to the castle. Kaktai, Hosha o hajime o. So these guys are going to begin. All platoons begin fire. Ah, so they came on with weapons, but actually they're firing off of the castle. Arrows with ropes, specifically. T hey, what are you doing? So it seems they're trying to fix the castle in place. But those ropes seem rather too thin to be doing it. If the castle moves just a little brick, those things would snap like... Well, so he says, we're binding the castle. It's the natural way of doing things. Oh, another elf. Well, supposedly there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I've all kind of got what you were doing. But he'd like to point out that those ropes are going to be pretty useless. They'll break right away. Alright. You need not worry about that. The ropes that we have prepared will not break. Alright. Okay. That wasn't really what I was trying to get at. Anyway, why are you trying to bind us down anyway? We had never heard anything about this. There was no need to tell you. So, all you need to do is obey us and there won't be any problems. Oh, I'm just looking forward to smashing these guys up. Man, these elves are really full of themselves, aren't they? I mean, they just don't give a rip about any of us. Telling us to do this, going off and doing that. Without us so much as a buy or leave. And they're all doing it like it's the most natural thing in the world. Taking us too lightly is what they're doing. So, they continued. They don't show any expression when they're doing this and keep talking. So, a word of caution. Until the decision comes down from the Holy Accords, don't try to escape from these bonds. So, if these bindings are broken, then the barrier will be activated. And in the event the barrier is activated, we will take your actions, construe your actions as an act of war, a declaration of war. In other words, these ropes are special ropes meant to communicate something to the elves. So if the castle tries to move, they'll all know right away. <laughs> so what, the, what are they doing all of a sudden? This is pretty one-sided here. In the missive that you guys sent us, was it written that you were going to do anything of this sort? Sovaro's pretty angry and he grabs one of the ropes. We're going to be releasing these bindings. Even if these things aren't here, we don't plan on moving the castle and attacking people. Oh, cease these foolish actions. Useless actions. These bindings cannot be broken. 
pochacha. So this rope that Javaro decided to grab, like the magic inside of it was just cut off, they all snap and wiggle out. And yeah, maybe they are as fragile as Avaro thought they were. What the, what the hell? They break pretty easily, actually. Uh, but no. If they break, that would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? No, oh, is that so? If this happens, then it's a declaration of war, wasn't it? Well, we didn't have that intention, though. So seeing this spectacle, the expressionless elves show just a little bit of sway. Ha! Take that, elves! Alright, who the hell are you? So, why is he able to break these bindings? Even among us, with our bloodlines and everything, only our highest mages, only our highest... It just says people. The high-level people could break these bindings, uh, barrier magics. Well, just because the ropes broke, you're all scared. So they're looking at us with these cold eyes and continue talking. So, they demand an explanation, and if we, it isn't forthcoming, they are going to construe this as opposition. Oh, wait a minute. This is going too fast. So, it seems like these uh, ropes shot off with their arrows are actually pretty important to them. Or something. I think they're overreacting. Ah, so. It's getting a bit noisy. Thanks to the elf soldiers. But someone shows up to take command of the situation. So, this guy. He asks what's going on. He's got a stern aura about him. And clearly he is one of the high level people of the elves. So these people broke the barrier and were attempting to escape. Oh, the barrier. It's a misunderstanding. We weren't planning on running or anything. We just wanted the ropes released. So just touching the ropes lost the effect of the barrier, is that so? Yeah, well, yeah, probably. But it's not an act of opposition to the elves. So when Avaro went and touched the ropes, without his will being anything to do with it, it just kind of collapsed. So hearing this, this high-class elf accepted it. So he asks of this person with the blood of elves in him what his name is yeah 
yeah, again at this question the elf soldiers kind of look uneasy so Avaro here is Avaro and he's not really an elf he's a half elf so so, was it he who awoke the goddess? No. No, he sees, so it was you who awoke the goddess. So he closes his eyes and gives a nod like he understands the situation. It seems that our words did not convey what they needed to. And he apologizes for the rudeness. So, the reason why they are having Guadalcuna stopped here, where the people won't, of the town won't see it, and it will be bound down, is in order to keep the people at ease. So, he wants us to understand that. So how they're going to deal with us is going to be decided at the Holy Accords. And until that time, they will not be actually harming us. That even if we are include a god in our midst, and even if there is a taboo that should be destroyed here, So if we don't comply, then we can't stay here, is that correct? Well, if it eases everybody's hearts, then she's happy to show that the castle will not be moving from here. Ah, Fia, if the castle can't move, are you really alright with that? Yes. Since I apologized, it's all right. And she doesn't want to upset the town either. Well, that would be hard on her. So, hearing Fia's name and seeing her appearance, the high-level elf does the hand on chest and kind of sort of bow thing. So, Fia, it is a pleasure to meet you and all. This guy is under Fiyushia sama the high priest Kudovans. So, you're Kudvant. Ah, so this guy is the high priest. So, Rishon Seili says it's a long time no see. And at this Holy Accord here, she is going to be participating as a representative of the Santa Cieve Alliance Federation. What did I call that? And as he sees, it seems that the story he heard that a Fuchsia Holy Knight was traveling with the party was true. I don't remember hearing her called a Fuchsia Holy Knight. 
そなたには But whatever. 改めて話を聞くことになろう嘘を偽りなく司祭を申せ So from Risho as well he's going to hear the full story and she's going to give it to him without lies or embellishments yeah, Of course So there is one thing that she would like to confirm with Coup de Vance here He doesn't say anything, but motions for her to continue. So these bindings upon the castle. It's all, it all right to consider it to not apply to the people on the castle. So there's no objection there. In the town there are many pilgrims. So your people aren't going to stand out. So hearing this, Fia enthusiastically asks the question. So is it alright to walk in the town? Walk around in the town. So until all the country's representatives have arrived, it will take some time. So until the Holy Accords can truly commence, you may do as you please. Well, thanks. And since the Fuchsia Faith's people have allowed her to do that, everybody's going to be happy. He doesn't have much to say, does he? So, he is all smiley and everything, but he doesn't react. And actually turns his gaze towards... Avaro before turning on his heels. So he must excuse himself now. He earnestly wishes that you do not break the bindings. So with a glance from Kudavance the elves resume their bow and binding and rope thing. Well, in any case, we got through that without any problems. I think. Yeah, it's great that we didn't have to fight them. I disagree. I want to kill them. Can I kill them? Just make maybe a few of them? Kill them a little bit? Anyway, Fia's smiling and she wants to go tell everybody on the castle so she spreads her arms wide. So let's quickly go and tell everybody that they can freely go into the city. They're probably all going to be happy about it. Alright, let's do that. And it seems like we too have some free time until the Holy Accords convene. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. You know, visually speaking, the castle should not be standing there. But what can you do? In any case, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.